Hey, welcome back to an Welcome back for another episode of Tarot Investigation with your girl Chanel Black. Now we're going to jump into a different type of reading this time. This time we're not going to read on a particular person. We're going to read on kind of like I guess you can say a group of people. Okay. We just kind of want to know more about the people that are coming into the United States in 2023 or should I say 2020 and beyond. Okay, now you know the United States is full of different people, a different uh, diverse group of people here. Um, it's a nation that's full of immigrants, right? So I just kind of want to know where are the immigrants coming from that started to come in during the uh, pandemic? Because the way they was talking like it was uh, Mexican people coming in. But then when you see these people, they don't, they don't all look like they coming from Mexico. And it's like, where are they coming from? So I pulled up a chart here and it says, where do migrants, you know, come from that come into the United States? And they say, and it's like 1.4% El Salvador, 2.0% Philippines, 2.6% India, 2.9% China, and 11.2% Mexico. But these people that I've been seeing seem like they've been a mix, a, a mixed group of people, which not a big deal okay whoever they are they are but it just kind of leaves me just like let me pull some cards and see because most people come to the united states to work and to create a better life that's fine that's cute but girl what about the people who want to leave the united states and go to other countries for free okay uh hello can we do it no because when we try to do it we got to have visas we got to have this we got to have documentation we got to have shots we got to have this and records and but how do certain people get to come here for free and then live and be accommodated? Okay. Is there a personal agenda that's being pushed here? Or just the United States is such a sweet, loving country and they just let anybody in free and willing, except if you're Haitian. Okay. Then they try to stop you then. But that's neither here nor there. So we're going to pull some cards and just see what these cards have to say on who are these people. Are they here for the right reason or do they have a personal agenda or are they uh, people that's here to cause other chaos? Okay, we just want to know, girl. I'm just trying to keep the United States safe. You hear me? So let's pull these cards and see who are the immigrants that are coming in to the United States starting in 2020. Okay, that's why I'm going to start with 2020. That's when they started coming in fast. Now, Biden has signed some type of agreement with Mexico. Okay, so we was getting a lot of food being um, produced in Mexico and being shipped over here. I don't understand why Biden just can't allow the American people to produce their own food. And But, girl, okay, I'm going to do a reading on Biden, too. Right, we got to find out who he really is. Uh, because uh, he act like he's an old man that just can't stand up and walk on the plane that can't walk and can't ride a bike. But yet he over here funding a lot of wars. But yet he's not taking care of none of his people over here in the United States. It's like, how fair is that? That's unfair if you ask me. But that's a whole nother reading. Right now we're going to focus on the migrants that are coming in starting in 2020. Okay, in a time where we was going through it, but they letting everybody in that they claim they don't know. Okay, now I got my own opinion or, or what I think, you know, my intuition is telling me who the people are, but we're going to see what these cards have to say first. All right. So let's go ahead and pull and find out what these cards have to say about who these people are. That's coming in starting from 2020. Okay. So divine angels, give me the best cards from this deck to describe the agenda or who actually are these people coming in. To the United States starting in 2020. Okay. What are they? Who are they? And what are their purposes of coming? Girl, the cars don't even know who they are. Okay. There we go. We got a little something coming out. Right. Okay. So the cards have spoken, and the first card came out is God. Okay. Did God send these people? Okay. So they should be a good, holy people. Let's read what this cards have to say. The light attribute speaks about benevolence and compassion. 
recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others is showing that the shadow attributes it speaks about deposits and cruelty using power to control people hmm so did the powers that be send these people over here now that kind of lead to kind of what I was thinking because I remember um, reading you know doing some reading on history and you know that when a country has a war okay or they conquer a place or colonize a place usually they will take the women and children or maybe just the children they'll take the children from that place and they'll take them somewhere else just like kind of like what's happening in Maui the children just kind of disappear and then next thing you know in 20 years from now you'll see a group of people migrating in are those the children that that the powers that be take from the country raise them and they don't raise them in the best way they raise them in in to, to work they raise them kind of like almost like slaves and then they teach them an ideology that's different from what their national people would teach them okay so it's almost like they take let's say if they take people let's say they take indian children okay they'll take them and instead of teaching them what their own people would teach them the people who stole the children would teach them to go against their own people you know what i'm saying so that's why i see right here that they will take these people deposit them into an area okay these people come from cruelty because they're being raised by as prisoners of war okay so you know that the person that conquered your land is not going to treat you well especially not as good as your own people would treat you so it's almost like they raise these people up to go against their own people okay that's just kind of what i picked up from that card now we got the daliente which speaks about the lights in the arts without having to be a professional so they saying that these people and this is a light attribute saying that they're not professional people alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits and that's the light part of this card so it's like it's giving us some type of warning or alert that these people are superficial in their pursuits now they coming in and saying one thing but they have a different type of agenda the shadow attribute speaks about pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess which means they have their marching orders now they're not telling you about it but yet they have some type of agenda that they're coming in with and it said alerts you to the danger of these people okay i'm just reading the cards now again see slave it's, it's like again like i was saying earlier that they are prisoners of war so they're being taken put into a slave mentality being raised by your enemies being whitewashed by your enemies just to be sent back to your homeland or to a land with a ideology that is totally different that's kind of like harmful to the land that you're sending them to if you get it it says in the shadow attributes now the with the slave card the light attribute speaks about surrender your power of choice to the divine okay to somebody that you're calling your god the powers that be with complete trust so it's almost like okay you're taking the children and then you you're saying that you're their parents okay you're saying that you're their, their guardian and they actually trust in you okay because you know you didn't now i wouldn't say you didn't hurt them because you probably did hurt them to get them to fall into line but they kind of grew in that in that hurt it's almost like if you raise if you're born into a toxic family you don't know how toxic your family is until you leave it okay because it's your family so their toxic ways are being taught to you okay now the sh shadow attribute speaks about giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own decisions again so it's it's given prisoners of war and they're being sent back after they've been brainwashed whitewashed and sent to a community with an agenda that we need to be alert of okay then we got the knights it speaks about light attributes they, they have a loyalty okay it speaks about loyalty romance and chivalry a love of honor now they would bring these men back okay 
Now, these men are not bad looking men, okay? Because they don't, it, it seems like they come from a different multitude of backgrounds, but then they've been whitewashed, okay? So they come in with the good hair, baby. And I don't know about the good skin, but maybe, you know, a lighter color skin. So they're not bad looking people. So they're coming in at night to come into your community, baby, for your, for your daughters, honey, for the women. And you know, if you get control of the women in the community, you got control of the community. Okay, because you're coming in as the men, as the knight of shining armor. But then the shadow attribute speaks about they have a allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle, romantic delusions. Okay? So, again, kind of like what I was feeling, that they are, seem like they're coming in, they may have been children that have been taken from a place, okay, and brainwashed with a hidden agenda, whether they recognize it or not, and then they sent back into a community, okay, maybe good-looking men, okay, and women, because I'm sure they, when they take children, they take females and males, and then they send them back into the community, but then they have some type of brainwashed agenda. That's what I'm feeling like these people who came in from 2022, from 2020 and beyond, that's how they're coming in. So it's coming in with a God complex because they're coming in from the powers that be. The powers that be have raised them, okay? With the Daliente card, it speaks about alerts you of the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits, okay? Um, pretension to a much deeper knowledge than what they're actually telling you about. Then they have a slave mentality. They're coming in following orders, okay? And then they're coming in to the women, they're coming into the women and men of the community with romantic delusions, but they have a loyalty to their allegiance, to their to their God, to their to the powers that be. And this is something that's been happening in many countries, and I have seen it happen in the United States as well. Over different different centuries, you'll see a, a group of people that come in into a community, and then they come into that community and. They kind of like take over the community with, with their romantic delusions coming to the women and the men. They come in with this romantic delusion, but they come in with a purpose. They come in with a purpose. So let's let's pull some cards, baby. Okay, give me more about this God complex that they have here. What do we need to know about this God situation? Who, are, who do they have allegiance to and what do we need to know about it? Okay, so we girl, the emperor, the government. Okay, it's the government. That's they gods. Okay, it says, um, and it's like they telling them that they coming in for stability. They coming into a a much stable land, but this speaks about influence that's in their life. This emperor energy. Okay, this giving me the government for sure, a organization. Next, we got five of pentacles, the lays around money. So they coming in with, you know, they coming in to say they're working. But these people are coming in with, because you see this man right here on crutches, and you see the women here covered up. So they coming in to almost to gain something, to gain their share. Now, at one point, okay, if you ever heard of Lancadas, okay, Back in the day, I think back in the 1800s from Portuguese and Spain, a group of men, just like I'm kind of describing now, came in, okay, they were slaves. They came in as slaves, but they was came in and they started to, to kind of mate with the Indian, the native indigenous women of the land. They came and mixed in, but then they came in, they was abusive men, they were abusive, period, but then they came in uh, to kind of like almost to take to take their share because um the government or their god would give them orders like okay you can go in and you can if you come in and you take over a certain community or a certain uh situation you can get half of what you take but the other half need to come to us okay so we got this five of pentacle energy and i'm kind of picking that up they have this homeless energy but then they come in to find a new home to find a new dwelling and then they get half of what they take, but the other half got to go to their their um, their God or, or their government agency. They're coming in with the Queen of Swords. 
okay it speaks of a woman over the age of 25 brown eyes brown hair cold heart the man authority so they coming in with authority over the people that let's say if they've been put into um the black community they coming in with authority over their community because they feel like they're coming in with a higher entity with their god somebody that has taught them to come in and how to come in and to come in to take half of what they receive and to give the other half to the government entity okay next we got the daliente the dalete or however you pronounce it baby i just made up my own word for that for this card let's give me more about this daliente dalete and their pursuits All right, again, we come we see them coming in from overseas, over land, okay? They coming in, look, with this card. They coming in surveying the land. Okay, it's a short journey, so it seems like they didn't come from too far. A movement to and near water. So they may have came across water to this land to stake half their claim. Okay? And they're probably going to be spread all over the world or maybe have been coming from all over the world. Okay? But after they've been whitewashed, brainwashed, now it's time to release them into a community. Okay? Next, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay? It speaks of, you know, women over the age of feminine energy over the age of 25, blue eyes, fair and brown hair, soft gentle motherly but this was in reverse so they're not coming in soft gently and motherly to, to nourish the place like again they're giving me that whitewashed energy with this card being in reverse this queen so we got the men and the women coming in i see a lot of queens coming in a lot of feminine energy okay are they part of the lbg um rainbow coalition okay i'm kind of picking it up um but i see them coming from overland overseas for stability, money confusion, juggling two situations or ideas around in their heads. Okay, they gotta walk that fine line, but when it comes to them coming in, it's a danger to behind them. Okay, and it's like they superficial in a pursuit. They come here for material gain. The material being money. So it's almost that's their rewards. Okay, so we got this slave mentality now. Give me more about this slave mentality. Why is this slave card here for the immigrants that are coming into the United States? All right. We got the lovers in reverse, baby. They're coming into love. They're coming in, to, I guess, to spread their seed. But ain't no love here. Okay, it's in reverse. It speaks about love affairs, romance, building within a marriage or relationship relatives. Okay. A loving relationship you, you can share with a friend. In reverse, baby, it ain't no loving relationship. It's just a lot of, okay, procreation probably going to be going on. But it's, it's some type of affairs. They coming in with some type of affairs with romantic delusions. Next, we got the queen of wands. Okay, they coming in for the women. I see a lot of energy coming in for the women. They coming in to father kids. They coming in, to, honey, to create maybe fatherless homes. Because, but the thing about this slave mentality, it's like they surrendered themselves to it. It's like they surrendered themselves from, I don't know if they surrendered from their own family. Because this also speaks about relationship family that you can love and trust. You can trust these people who raised them. So, it's like they've been brainwashed. So, it's almost like it's not their own will. Because the, the natural form of them wouldn't be like this. But because they was almost like maybe prisoners of war or maybe maybe come from a slave community or something like that they have a different way of thinking and it speaks about positive fiery outspoken they're coming in with that one energy they're coming in almost like to pro to um to procreate what do you you know to to kind of like build a community for themselves with the two of cups it's like they romanticize and they're coming in with this romantic delusions that's going to follow right with this night energy. Okay. Joining of two people. They're coming in to join. Okay. I'm telling you. Join who though? Girl, don't y'all be out here falling for these men, honey. They're coming in with good hair, light skin, honey, looking like Kiki Palmer, baby daddy. Don't trust them. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Why is this knight here? Why is this knight here? Because I, all the romantic cards that came out, girl, they're coming in. Okay. Now, look. The family card in reverse. Ten of Cups. Now, they may, you may think that they're coming in to build family with you, but they was not treated in a good way. They were not treated in a loving way. So how can they give love to a, a, a family? So that's why it's, they come to turn a, a community upside down. The children, the mother, the father. Okay. Next, we got the moon energy here. Okay. Deceptions, delays, emotional ups and downs. Maybe deceiving yourself emotionally and others. Yeah, they're not coming in with true intentions. They're coming into a community, baby. They're coming in to, to either break community or to create some type of um, alternative community. Next, we got Page of Pentacles. Young woman to 25 years old, student, male or female. Again, it's, it's giving me that young energy that they've probably been brainwashed ever since they was younger. Okay, and then they, they've been programmed, okay, almost like an AI. Maybe they've been programmed by their gods, somebody that they look up to, that they honor. But this person right here, this government agency, I'm seeing government agent or some type of organization, okay, had always had them on the brink of homelessness, always had them with some type of delays, some type of, um, almost, because you see this person on crutches, almost like hurt them in some type of way to get them into some type of submission, it could be a woman here that's trying to act like she's a mother, but it seems like she was demanding respect, cold, and very demanding when it came to these people. And they have an agenda. They they have been programmed to have an agenda. And baby, it don't look like it's a loving one. So let's see. Let's pull. What advice do we need? To, what do we need to know about these group of people that's coming in? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this group of people that's coming in? Okay, so if we have the 10 of Ariel. It's a lot of 10s here. It's like they come in with the ultimate, baby. It's like there is so much more to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. So they coming in for a, you know, they coming in to act a girl, at least this what the cards are saying that they coming in for a rich and rewarding family life. Again, you see the family in reverse. They, that's how they're going to come in to you. Now, like I said, they come, they're going to start off being loving. Okay. They want to join in on two people. They trying to join in, but the lovers in reverse, they come in with that one energy because remember they, they could possibly be prisoners of from slaves okay they've been coming from the slave mentality that's already broke right there that's already broken home off top so it's like they would been what do they call it buck breaking i see women here i see children here so the gold is the women and children with the king of michael's principle ratio uh ambition respected they want to be respected girl wisdom and objectively are important right now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication girl if you meet somebody ask them what you want honey what what brought you here baby uh how ambitious are they okay are they respected do they respect you okay it says stay in your integrity don't change for nothing that they got to tell you okay what they telling you okay stand in your integrity then the ace of michael a wonderful new idea it says don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others again what language do they speak girl because i probably i can't i can't understand you baby so i'm sorry i can't help you so let's see let's see let's see What other cards can help us? Okay, I kind of want to know what's the mentality of the people. Okay, what is the mentality of, you know, you can't, you know, 
it's a lot of them coming in. What is the mentality of them coming in? What what how are they thinking? What are their mindset? Okay, let's check. What is the mindset of the people coming in? What do we need to know? Okay, yeah, girl. They come in to integrate into your communities, honey. The yin and the yang. Again, they're coming in. To, the girl, they come in for love, baby. They're coming in. They're coming in to a love bomb, baby. And you see that snake down here at the bottom. You got the integration right here. They come to get into your heads, baby. Okay, look at the government, the eagle. The U.S. government. And then we got a swan here. We got dimensions. Honey, they trying to get into that lotus flower, baby. And this is right here, the purple card. So this is probably nothing they're going to communicate. This is something that's in the, the in, embedded in their brains, in their heads. Programs. I'm picking up program. Participation, baby. Okay. Again, all in and together. They're coming in to join in into communities for participation, for stability. This is a red card for a homeland, a new home. And then we got the slowing down, okay, with the colorful cards. Girl, it's giving me LGB again, Rainbow Coalition. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what do the ladies need to know about them? What do the ladies need to know about the immigrants, baby? Just in case you run into one with good hair, baby, curly hair, okay, and nice little bronze skin, baby. You'll be so confused. You'll think you done met your husband. Let's see. What do the ladies need to know about the immigrants that's coming in? I don't see. Okay. I do see that they, you know, they're coming in for stability, but they're coming in. The, okay. All right, so, oh uh, girl, they got addictions already. So we already see codependent obsession, controlling. They have a block, okay, a mental block. I feel like they already been programmed, girl. Okay, restraints, girl. Make sure they ain't AI. Check his back. Check his batteries, okay. Make sure he ain't AI generated, baby. But it's coming in with addictions. They have some type of block and restraint here. Very controlling, possessive energy with this addiction. Then we got the wedding rings, baby. They want to marry you, girl. They want a union. They want to combine, okay? Again, combine and conquer. They looking for wedding, marriage, honey. They probably homosexuals. Everlasting. They got an everlasting promise for you, okay? We'll see if that's going to stay positive. But, girl, they got the sunglasses on. They got the P. Diddy sunglasses on, baby. They hide in their eyes. Make sure you look directly in their eyes, too, when they're talking. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Which means they're going to they gonna watch they pray. Almost like they're watching they pray. And then a coffin, an ending, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, a transition. Now, girl, I'm still picking up LGB, but then I'm also picking up, you know, they're coming in almost like to destroy. And, they, and they're coming in using love. They're coming in, girl, have y'all dated one? Y'all let me know in the comment section. But we got mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationship. Reflects our wounds. So yeah, whatever they've been taught by their slave owners and their God. But they're going to come in and put it on you. Okay? Keys on the ring. Many options. Decisions. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. Hidden and quit it. Girl. But after they get the, the keys, they want the keys to your house. Keys to the Beamer. Babe, they ain't trying to come in and work, baby. They trying to come in and, and be homosexuals, baby. With who, whoever, male or female. We got twin flames, the yin and the yang again. A balance, duality, a coupling. They trying to compliment you, baby. They coming in with their curly hair, baby. And they said, baby, our babies will be beautiful. But then they're going to run out on you. A runner in a codependent relationship already started off in codependence with the addiction. Okay, fear of intimacy and listening to the ego, listening to their gods. Baby, now it seems like they're coming in with romantic delusions, baby. They're going to come in and act like they're nice and shining armors, but they got a history of being raised by serving the wrong God, a God that's benevolent. 
It's also showing that, you know, with the Dalente card, it alerts you of becoming superficial in your pursuits. Okay, whatever they're trying to pursue, they're becoming superficial. And it's also, they got deeper knowledge than what they possess. Okay, they probably don't even, they probably not even aware that they've been brainwashed. Okay, because they're coming from a slave tribe. Okay, uh, prisoners of war. And it's like they already gave their allegiance to their God that they're serving that's releasing them back into the community just to come in to give romantic delusions to take over community it seems like they're aiming for the women okay i see a lot of women being aimed for okay a lot of lonely women out there and what what community right now is having issues with their men the black community so sis y'all need to watch out for the uh kiki palmer baby daddies of the world because they coming in strong, baby, with the curly hair. Baby, they're coming in with the bronze skin. Okay, they may even be tall. Baby, your wish, you think your wish not came true? Just for him to come in, baby, and cause a RIP to take your keys, baby. Take the keys to your car. Okay? You think this your twin flame? Because they've been trained, baby. They know what to say. They coming in with the sunglasses, the Diddy sunglasses on, baby. They watching, looking, stalking. They have been taught. Okay, they're going to probably promise a wedding ring for you. But it's like, how you going to promise me a wedding ring when you ain't even got nowhere to stay? Well, don't worry about that, okay? They gonna, They said they got, they controlling, very ups, uh, very possessive. So you're going to think that they love you so much. They just love bombing. But they just participating in an agenda that's been passed down from their own, their own government or their own organization. Okay, they're gods. But they didn't have an easy life. And so don't think they're going to give you an easy one. Okay? Because instead of having a mother figure, they was being ruled by somebody with an iron fist, with a sword. Okay? That was very cold, demanding authority. And they coming in with that same type of mentality. So, girl, y'all watch out, honey. Okay? You think it's Immigrant Bay, and it's really not. Girl, I'm going to have to move on, girl. But catch me on the next reading. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.